As the death toll from COVID-19 in New York neared 3,000, a Bahamian musician living in the Big Apple warned Bahamians to adhere to the government's emergency orders. New York is among the hardest hit in the United States, with reports that over 100,000 people have been infected. Jonathan Farrington, who moved to New York to pursue his singing career, said as the situation worsens, he is praying that Bahamians take heed. Bahamians really just need to understand that this is not a joke. You know, I hear a lot of people are out, you know, having parties or just hanging out, but this is really serious. And initially, people thought that this was only affecting a certain age group. Uh, but we have seen that, you know, there have been persons as young as 25 who had no pre-existing health conditions who had succumbed to this virus. So it's very serious. Farrington, who said his tour was interrupted due to the outbreak, added that he's not allowing the panic and fear to take over. However, he noted that things are bad. It's not looking good here. People are dying by the second and um, hospitals have been inundated with so many people coming in who are sick. And what they've been advising us to do is just to self-isolate, uh, social distancing six feet away from you know, individuals, only going out if you need to get uh, necessities. With the grocery stores out of products like Lysol and other antibacterial soaps and sanitizers, Farrington said he's had to get creative. I got a lot of alcohol and I kind of made my own um, cleaning products, use some bleach, you know, where I can to wipe things off. Um, you just got to really be creative in this time. Farrington said he contacted the Bahamian Embassy for guidance. You know, they were advising us to just, you know, just adhere to all of the the rules and regulations that the American government has been issuing and just staying staying positive. You know, I've been keeping in contact with my family and they're all right. The Bahamas has confirmed 24 cases of COVID-19. The Ministry of Health advised on Friday that two people who tested positive for COVID-19 died in hospital overnight. Additionally, a Bimini woman who tested positive for the virus died earlier this week. Officials are expecting more cases in the coming days. Reporting for the Guardian News Network, I'm Bertha McDermott.